In the introduction to Little Women, in 1861, Mr. March is away at war, working as a chaplain, leaving behind his daughters, the novel's four young protagonists. Joe March, age 15, Meg March, age 16, Beth March, age 13, and Amy March, age 12. The March family, living in the Northeast, are staunch abolitionists who favor the war that will free the slaves. Mrs. March, whom the girls call Marmee, comes in and reads a letter from their father in which he reminds them to conquer themselves so that he can be even prouder of them when he comes home and sees his little women. In the rising action, Meg and Joe are invited to a New Year's celebration at a friend's house where the two girls meet Theodore Laurie Lawrence, a tall, <gasps> handsome boy about Joe's age. Joe's temper is sorely tested when Amy burns Joe's fairy tales. When Joe ignores Amy and she falls through the ice during an ice skating outing, Joe recommits herself to controlling her passions. Mrs. March gets word that Mr. March is ill and she must leave them to go to Washington, D.C. to nurse her husband. Beth comes down with scarlet fever and almost dies. Mr. March also comes home and Mr. Brooke proposes marriage to Meg. Joe is afraid Meg's marriage will leave a hole in the family, but she has no choice but to deal with the fact that they're all growing up. Three years later, Meg and Mr. Brooke marry. Meg has twin babies, a boy and a girl, and she learns how to incorporate her husband into her new role as a mother with the help of Marmee. Amy continues to cultivate herself as a refined woman, and because she is a model of social grace, Aunt Carol decides to take her on a trip to Europe instead of Joe. Joe goes to work in New York and meets Professor Bayer, a kindly but poor, learned man of nearly 40. When Joe returns home, Lori proposes mm -hmm. to her, but she turns him down. She loves him like a brother, but not romantically. In the heartbreaking climax of the novel, young Beth dies of the after effects of scarlet fever. In the falling action, Lori and Amy meet up in Europe and marry. They come home and Professor Bayer visits and soon proposes to Joe, who accepts. Joe and the professor start a successful school for boys. And in the resolution, the family gathers and celebrates Marmee's 60th birthday. Everyone is doing well.